The hardest adjustment for me has been that I'm driving that train and there's no getting off it now. Wolfpert VR is fundamentally driven by the notion of offering the arts to anyone, anywhere in the world at any time. We went out to California and we had our prototype and we walked onto the Samsung campus and it's beautiful and huge and overwhelming and we went upstairs and we sat in this meeting and it was three of us and four Samsung people and they're very quiet and they put on the headset and you can kind of hear the voiceover and I'm thinking, we're just dying on the vine here because there's nobody saying anything. And the lead person takes down the headset and he said to me, this is far better than I ever expected. So we're releasing the Gear VR. The public launch will be in November, which was now like, you know, six weeks away, basically. And he said, so you'll be ready for that, right? And I just looked at him and I said, absolutely not a problem. We got back on the plane to return and Rob and I looked at each other and he said, we need some engineers. VR presents a number of challenges. I would say that over the past three years that we've been working in it, many of those issues have been, if not fully resolved, greatly resolved. Most people think about VR as gaming. You know, they don't get that actually, if you're in New York and I, you wanna to go to London, you can do that through VR. And I think the teleporting will further people's understanding of global access. And in my mind, it's really why I even started this and thought about it. I think everyone has a fantasy about what being an entrepreneur is. But sometimes there's that moment when you're sitting in your office alone and you think, this is a critical decision, and I'm making this for a lot of people. You know, we're blazing a new trail here, so there is no right answer. And I attribute this to the fact that, you know, we're a little bit older than the average startup. And so people have advice, and I'm mature enough to take it. 